Speaking of competition, how about competitive video gaming becoming an Olympic sport? Don't believe it? <laughs> the International Olympic Committee actually discussing it this week. Joining us now is Gamer World News Entertainment CEO Gail Dickey. All right, Gail, I mean, is this really going to, how probable is this to happening? Uh, hi, Charles. Thanks for having me. Um, I would say we're looking at a 2024 esports inclusion for the Olympic Games. So you feel pretty confident about it. Uh, let's talk about the size of this, uh, because I don't know that a lot of people understand how rapidly it's grown, how many millions of, of people are involved in, 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 in the sort of impact it's making around the world right now. Well, you've got 2.2 billion gamers around the world, and um, I think if you look at the Olympics and the competition that's gone on in the past, even the most recent, last in February, uh, the viewership's down 24% in the 18 to 49 demos and I think including eSports uh, by 2024 would be a fantastic idea not only for uh, the country of France but for the world in terms of increased revenues and advertising and I think viewership will really be substantial especially with the live events. Now of course we're talking about the International Olympic Committee, it's a global organization. Uh, you've got the World Health Organization, another global organization saying that this gaming, internet gaming disorder, it's an addiction. It's a significant public health concern. Could that come up the works? <laughs> I don't buy it. Um, I think it's like anything else. Um, everything in moderation. Um, you know, e but I guess is, what they're saying, uh, Gail, is that there is no moderation, that you have people who are sleep deprived uh, in South Korea, they say <laughs> it's an epidemic. I mean, so so uh, is, is this something we overlook or is it is, is it significant enough to stop this, uh, the ultimate goal of becoming part of the Olympics? No, I don't think it's something that's going to ultimately stop it being included in the Olympics. I think it's something to keep our eye on, just like any any other addiction. But I think for the most part, you're looking at. Uh, a significant increase in viewership and um, revenues and sponsor monies over the course of the next, well, they have six years now to decide, but I'm sure um, this month when they t talk about it in the forum, we're going to see them talk about all of the, the pros and cons, sure. and I think the pros will significantly outweigh the cons. Real quick before I let you go, Gail, uh, Google uh, yeah. may be uh, getting ready to release its own video game console that would, of course, compete right. against uh, PlayStation and, uh, and Xbox. Uh, any thoughts on how successful they might be? I think they're going to be very successful. I think we have to look at um, uh, console gaming versus you know cloud uh, cloud services and cloud gaming to be uh, significant in the future. And uh, I think Google does it does their job very well. So I think we can see some substantial um, increases for Google as we move forward. Well, certainly exciting time for you, industry. Gail, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me.